hello hello dears and welcome back to the channel Benidorm by Anna today we have a very unusual event here in Benidorm town that we will show you guys this evening it's the end of carnival celebrations in Benidorm town and there is one thing that we've never ever showed you guys before here in our videos let's go and check it out it's gonna be interesting Starting from 9.30, there is supposed to be the beginning of the celebration right here at La Plaza Mayor, which is where a lot of people are exiting right now. So I suppose they've started the celebration already. And we can hear the sounds slightly further along. This happens every single year, more or less on the same day, 13th of February. The burial of the sardine in Spanish, Entierro de la Sardina, is happening since 19th century. So it's quite an old tradition. This is an annual ceremony here in Spain that celebrates the end of the carnival and other festivities. The burial itself, the celebration that we are about to see, consists of a carnival parade that parodies a funeral procession Jeez. and um, culminates with the burning of a symbolic figure and usually it's being represented by a big fish or a sardine like the one we see right there in front we see quite a lot of people out here already there is the sardine going back and forth in the crowd but I have a slight idea. From here, we are on the back of it, so let's make a small shake, shall we? We are making a small shortcut. We're going back towards the Rusafa Street because there's quite a lot of people, and I really want to film it for you guys in front when it's arriving. So I know which streets it's going to be passing through. And this is where we are heading right now. We're heading to pick it up at the Rusafa Street and then it will be going to be going towards the port of Benidorm. So we are in a tiny bit of a hurry, although I know we do have enough time for it. And let's go there. Well, we've showed it to you when it just started. And now let's go and see it in all its beauty from the front. And then we will accompany it up until the end towards the beach where even though it's called a burial when they bury the the fish but actually they're burning it down so it's gonna be quite fun let's go and see if we can catch them on the other side there we go much much better we are at the front right now and the sardine is coming directly to us there is an orchestra here by the way which is playing some typical spanish songs like dancing type of songs that you can hear on the radio but just the orchestra is playing it so this is the authentic spanish tradition the burial of the sardine usually celebrated on an ash wednesday and it's a symbolical burial of the past to allow society to be reborn transformed and with new strength that is the purpose let's say like this of all this giant celebration many spanish festivals and ceremonies um end with symbolic representing something like this like the burial of the sardine and in a lot of things if you've never seen it or maybe you've seen and you were wondering give it a think almost all spanish celebrations end up with something burned or destroyed although some have been lost others have been revived this basically means that even if we lose something even if something ends new better things are about to happen in the future and this is something that's happening throughout all entire spain and i do feel they also do it in um, america in south america i do feel a lot of countries also do this type of burial of the sardine or they have an alternative um, alternative names to it right now we're heading directly through the famous avenue of rusafa this is where you can have some nice uh, businesses 
There's a ramen place if you like this type of food, nice ramen. There is where you can get it. There is also some tapas square. We filmed it for you guys here on the channel if you want to check it out. An alternative for the typical traditional tapas street. And there's more and more people following it. And look at this. This is why these damas, the ladies, they are dressed out in black and there is a there is a religious people present kind of in the costumes obviously not real but all this is like a funeral it's like a funeral you're going to the funeral this is how it looks like but it's to start fresh so this is why it's actually a celebration they're stopping every now and then, which is why we had to pause the video and then obviously start it back again because if not, it will be around one hour long. No one has time for one hour long videos these days, right? So we stop and when they start moving, we start moving with them. There's not too many people on the streets as it is, but this is simply because all the crowd is following the giant sardine. And I do feel that towards the end, which is where the Benidorm's port is located, is where a lot of people will be. After we come to the port, this is not all. This is not a simple procession through the streets. Nope. There's going to be a fire, so they will burn it down to the ground. And then there should be fireworks. So we have a complete celebration here in Benidorm unexpected for a lot of people i know because it's not so widely advertised as november fiestas as any other kind of big celebrations but it's quite big as you can see i would have wished the sardine would be even slightly bigger something more something that you can see from far away but still it's great not bad at all there's a lot of people there's civil protection which are the ones that wear like black and um, orange and there are also police officers right there in front which are both on motorcycles walking in the cars to make sure that everything is safe quite sure there should be firefighters um somewhere here around too probably somewhere by the board which is where the actual celebration will be happening the end of the celebration and where firefighters pretty much would need to be present just in case something doesn't go right out here you can see people are singing having a lot of fun and right where the giant paella is located is where the tapa square is located so bear that in mind if you want to visit it check out our videos we visited the most famous croquetas place and much much more and we are heading our straight road towards the shopping street of Benidorm and from there only a few hundreds of meters we will be right at the port right next to Alejo we're doing some more dancing the sergeant is trying to escape but no it's not going to be happening all today let's go all together towards the port area our last stop we went just a couple of meters before them to have a good spot. Our last stop is at Paseo del Colón, which is directly on the Pimienta Beach by the Dove Park and where the port of Benidorm is located. We're heading there, which is where the end of the parade, the end of the carnival will be celebrated. There's quite a lot of people waiting here. There's an ambulance already. So let's wait in just a couple of minutes. They will be here and we will see the epic ending of it oh my goodness there is a lot of people see half of these people were right near the sardine accompanying it through the streets and the other half officially are here there's a giant amount of people there is a lot of people here on the streets waiting for and there's the firefighters there's the firefighters and there's all these people even smaller children are waiting for the the burning the burial how it's called of the sardine and the end of the carnival celebrations 2024 anxious to see what's gonna be happening 
And here the sergeant arrives. They passed the entry towards the beach actually. And now with all this giant crowd of people, they're heading towards the beach to leave it in a specifically destined place where with special firecrackers, which are like mascleta, a typical Spanish mascleta, with the firecrackers, they will light it up and burn it to the ground. So let's see how it will look like. The shame that we have palm trees right in front of us, but hopefully we'll still be able to see what the ceremony, the end ceremony will be looking like. This is the zoom for you guys so that you'll be able to see it slightly better. And this is where they're placing the sergeant. Oh, a lot of people are anxious. It's been more than one hour since the parade, since the carnival, this procession has started this funeral ceremony, if you want to call it. So it's been more than one hour and finally we are here. It took slightly longer, but everything is prepared. Police officers are checking on it. And look at this. There's going to be three of these, which means that when the third one goes, the official end of celebration will begin. This is the third one already. Let's begin. Let's light up the surge.
this was the end of the carnival celebrations. We're going quite fast because there is a lot of people on the streets. And if we don't want to get into the huge group of people and wouldn't be able to get out of here, that's not going to be good. It's already past 10.30, so in overall it was more than one hour. The vast majority of this time they were walking down the streets, playing, you've seen it all, more or less. This is a nice tradition and I'm surprised I've never seen it with my own eyes. It's always been through videos and we've just seen the carnival itself. So seeing it for the first time is a great experience. I've seen actually some of our subscribers too. So hi if you're watching this video. I hope you had a lovely time. And uh, it was a great experience. It definitely was. I didn't expect fireworks. They're actually quite nice. And this is how every single year the end of the carnival in Benidorm is being celebrated. Not only in Benidorm, it's in a lot of other parts of Spain as well. Some parts it will be tomorrow, but in Benidorm it was today. Thank you for accompanying us on the not so short, but informative, positive and nice, interesting, I suppose, video from Benidorm at night, end of Carnival 2024. I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. We're heading back home and we'll see you in a new video tomorrow.